Pro Wrestling Magic fans, I am longtime independent wrestling fan. Robert Domino was a great way to kick off uh, 2018 in the Magic Land. Ref re announcer Scotty Ceriti was welcoming to the crowd and announced that the winners of the Tag Team Championship match will be presented with brand new Tag Team Championship belts. Right on cue, all of Kill the Magic come to the ring, and Johnny Malanga takes the microphone and mentions that the American Murder Society, Steve Off and Eric Bladley would win the tag belts. He said that Mike Dobbin has the keys to the kingdom, guaranteeing him a heavyweight title shot. He said that picture perfect Ricky Rodriguez. Is that his name now? Instead of Ricky Martinez would win the Dark Arts Championship and eventually a woman would join the group enabling them to have the Women's Championship. Uh, Bradley and Off did uh, unveil the tag team belts right then and there. Eventually Eddie McQueen comes out and right then and there the Brooklyn Outlaw Mike Dobbin has a match with him and during the match Pinky Sanchez's music starts to play and the rest of Kill the Magic is right there waiting for Pinky to come out. McQueen, in the process, rolls up Dobbin to get the three count. And then all of Kill the Magic do a number on McQueen until Pinky Sanchez does come out and makes the save. And um, Picture Perfect takes the microphone. He tells the referee, hey, you're doing double duties. I, have, I want Pinky right now. And they have a match. And... Um, Pinky Sanchez defeats Picture Perfect Ricky Martinez Rodriguez. I'm not sure what he's calling himself these days, but still calling himself Picture Perfect. Next up, uh, uh, Adam Payne defeated Crowbar to retain the Dark Arts Championship. Throughout the match, Crowbar kept pulling on Payne's beard, and I know it's a part of Payne's beard landed on the mat. Hmm. Next, we had the Jersey Muscle Jock, Steve Gibke, formerly of the Down Boys. He beat uh, Dan Gallagher, who looked like Carrot Top with that red hair. Next up, we saw women's action as uh, Jordan Grace defeated Faye Jackson to retain the women's championship. And uh, Faye was tremendous in her Pro Wrestling Magic debut. At that point, they went to intermission and... Well, during that, once intermission was announced, I went to the CVS on the corner of Main and Mount Vernon streets to get new batteries for the megaphone. The action resumed with uh, American Murder Society, Aaron Bradley and Steve Off defeating Fit to Be Tied, Smiley and Mike Graca, or is it Braca, to uh, retain the tag team championship. Then, up next, we saw the King of New York, E.C. Negro, defeat Madman Fulton to retain the heavyweight championship. And then it was time for the first ever uh, Chad Adams Memorial Rumble. Now, um, Aaron Bradley was entered at number one. Steve Off entered at number two. All the participants included um, Picture Perfect, John Tella, Pinky Sanchez... Dasher Hatfield, Juan Francisco de Coronado. Try saying that name three times fast. Uh, Faye Jackson, Falaba, Sebastian Cage, Vince Steele, Section 8, Peacemaker, Meadowlands Monster, Smile, uh, fit to be tied, Smiley and Mike Graca, or was it Braca? Uh, Miguel Sosa, Isi Negro's hired hand. He didn't last long. Jake the Raffle Man. <laughs> he didn't last long. And by the way, um, PWM, if you're going to make the Chad Adams Memorial Rumble a yearly thing, what's going to happen next? Front Row Mikey or other fans possibly entering the match and not lasting long? Uh, other participants I do recall in this matchup, uh, Dan Gallagher, but he didn't come out because he wasn't medically cleared. Eddie McQueen comes out, but he was attacked by Mike Donovan after coming through the curtain. We also had in this match uh, the God of Drivers, Everett Cross. Hmm. 
yeah, e Everett Cross, uh, Steve Gibke entered last, and the other down boy, Tony, I forgot his last name, he eventually hit the ring, causing Gibke to get eliminated. Probably forgot about a lot of other... Oh, actually, there were a few others. Sorry, uh, Logan Black, Jess Neff. Probably forgetting other people. I mean, you know, I didn't write down everybody who was in, in this. But uh, eventually, after everybody had entered, Eddie McQueen eventually comes back out and this time enters the ring. And... Uh, in the end, Eddie McQueen eliminates Steve off to win the first ever chat as Memorial Rumble. And by virtue of his victory, Eddie McQueen gets a shot at the heavyweight championship at the anniversary show in April. I don't know the date yet. The date as of yet for the anniversary show in the month of April. Okay, personal notes. The Fire Pit Grill on Mount Vernon Street has some great food. I'll definitely go eat there again before his show. It was great meeting the Cuban hype men, Fernando and Bruno. Great sitting behind Shane Fair, Elliot. Great seeing Jason, Bill Parham, John and Dom, Gail. I don't know who that, that, that guy sitting with uh, Fernando and Bruno was, unless I've already got him on Facebook. Who else can I think of here that I caught at this uh, show? Oh, Peter! How can I forget him? Called him after when he came to when I came came in. Oh, another participant I forgot about in the in this match, DJ Mario Valentino, who came out to one of those Spanish tunes. I forgot. I forgot who, the, who sang it. Hmm. Oh, Hot Dog Starks was in the Rumble, too. <laughs> now, we do have memorable quotes. I thought he was the baby face. What's that shit all about? This guy behind me about Crowbar during his match with Adam Payne. I wonder where my tinfoil went. Somebody near me towards uh, Steve Gibke based on his silver silver or light gray attire. How about that one that one fan in the crowd with a uh, wearing that it said Peach Killer on the back of his Atlanta Braves jersey. He and uh, Gianni Milango were really uh, going at it during a tag team title match in a verbal fest. Surprisingly for the second show in a row, Gail did not win any, any raffle prizes. Um, Pro Wrestling Magic uh, returns with Love Gun, which is only appropriate because it's happening on Saturday, February 17th, just three days after Valentine's Day. I uh, really don't know what matches I would like to see for that one. Mm. Mm. Uh, man, I can't remember who... Who, who I'd what I'd like to see for the next show, really. Uh, obviously, the champions will be defending their belts. Well, actually, Pinky Sanchez and Eddie McQueen against Mike Donovan and Picture Perfect. Mm. Couldn't believe... Uh, um, Aaron Bradley, you know, he went after uh, Shane Fair in the front row. Oh, uh, man, who else was there? Great having a, a picture with some of the guys after the show's over with. Uh, <laughs> oh, man, what else can I think of here? Wow. Dang it, I can't really think of... 
Well, actually, uh, Elliot, uh, kudos to you, man, for uh, pointing out that I actually accidentally ended up writing 12017 instead of 12018. Mm -hmm. Ah. Dang it. Well, I don't know really other like matches I would like to see for the next show. Well, as I said earlier, I like hope that the Chad Chad Adams Memorial Rumble will be a yearly thing. Thing, I don't know if it'll be every January or, or such. I mean, I was Figured, you know, there'd be some sort of surprises for this match since they needed bodies. Mm. So, yeah, very good uh, way to start 2018 Pro Wrestling Magic and uh, hopefully things will get even better.